What I understand, they had the school in lockdown. A parent came up here to try to get a kid or something out of the high school. You know anything about it, Trevor? Huh? What Somebody happened? Somebody sent a threat on Facebook. Somebody sent a threat on Facebook? Yeah. So I guess it's a Facebook. I've heard threat. two. I've had two. I've heard two rumors. Well, let's Somebody hear about it. at the at the uh, at the fields, like a parent was going crazy or something. Mm-hmm. And then the other one was that they heard a threat from on face from Facebook. Okay, so that's our third that's our third rumor we've had now. What's the first? Well the first rumor was the kids or the parents at the softball field. Yeah. Then I heard a rumor that a parent was up here to get a student that they weren't authorized to get and threatened to go get a gun if they didn't let them have the student. And now the threat on Facebook thread. So a bunch of rumors will hopefully figure out what really happened by the end of the day. So, I don't know. We'll see. Isaac's walking out with me sadly. Got Isaac now. Did you win? Yep. What was the score? Not, uh, 9 to 15. We were 9. Awesome. Did you guys, did you get a hit? Uh, I was up to bat, and then the first time I struck out, and then the second time I got on base by balls. By what? Yeah. Yep. I love it when he says he got on base by balls. Yep, balls will get you on base every time, won't they? During, per during poker, a pair of balls beats anything. We heard three stories. Um, we heard the Facebook threat, the parent coming up here threat, and then the softball threat. Well, I asked one of the teachers, and she said that there was a threat. It came from a parent, a dad, but he had threatened a mom on Facebook about coming up to the school and getting a child out. So she called and told the school about it and that's what caused the lockdown. So that's the truth of the matter and that's what's going on. So there was never actually a threat at the school. They were just, you know, they, the school, they take every threat serious because you don't want to go, well, yes we should have. But anyway, so nothing to see here. Just a lot of police down there watching, I guess making sure everybody's getting out okay. The teachers were on double duty walking kids over to the softball fields and it looked like a very well planned out thought through process so way to go guys I heard that somebody was at the softball game and then they left and they had a gun and they went by some girl's house and then the girl freaked out and called the cops that's what I heard and they put the school on lockdown because the girl freaked out no there's just not a real answer okay no, so uh, Hold up, That's story number four. <laughs> it is Saturday night. We went over and ate at, where were we at? El Vajero's or something like that? Oh, Off of 81st and something Lewis. over, it's not Lewis. Mingo. 81st and I think 129th is where I think we were. And we are now, well, we were up to see Bill at the hospital. He's doing much better. I wonder why these people are slowing down for a green light. I, I've never understood this concept. But anyway, we left the hospital and we're trying to get home now. And we just got diverted off of the turnpike from a bad, nasty accident up ahead. So we don't have a radio in the van, so we have no idea what's going on. We can see it up there from the bridge. You can yeah. see the lights down there. Yeah. Maybe you guys could, I don't know. I just kind of flipped the phone around. But we're heading home now, so it'll take us an extra 15, 20 minutes to get there, but not too big of a deal. It's not like we don't know where we're at. We know right where we're at. We're by all air. We're in Sapalupa. So right as we were turning into the driveway, well actually turning off of the road, you know the highway onto our street, well the tire I fixed the other day blew out so good news is the plug held, bad news is there's a giant hole in the side of the tire so well at least it didn't happen in Tulsa. So that big old hole right there? Oh. 
Yep. I, I think I found the culprit. I think I found the culprit in the sidewall. You're right there. Another one down there. Yeah, I'd say she ain't holding there. So we'll come out here in the morning and... Yeah, I bet we can fill it up. I bet. And we'll <laughs> put the donut back on. Yeah, look at... Uh-oh. Don't, don't, I don't want it off the rim. All right, so as you saw early in the video, we had our blowout last night. This Sunday morning, we're fixing to go eat. Had to put the uh, spare tire on. Thank goodness for whatever we did to my heart medicine and DDPY yoga get me in better shape. I'm not as out of breath as normally. I would have had to take several breaks to do that, but I just feel like I'm a little bit out of shape now. So as opposed to fixing to die, breathing heavy, but I don't know feel great so that's awesome and um, i'll talk to you guys here in a little bit so we're coming we're going to close up this video here pretty quick but i just want to fill you guys in so you know bill's in the hospital by the way this is monday and uh what was it saturday night that happened that's the blowout on the van then we got in the house woke up sunday morning and the heater was broke well, I fixed the heater yesterday afternoon, but um, also Saturday we noticed, if you can see up there we have dingles. on the roof, we had shingles blown off. So we had a blowout, we had shingles blown off the roof, and the heater went out all this weekend while Bill's in the hospital. Yep. So I'm fixing to patch up the roof to stop the rest of the decay, and then... Them After that, we will hopefully be done for a little bit with some a lot of maintenance all of a sudden. All right, so nice. as you can see it. here, this is our roof damage. There's Isaac. Here's Ow. Trevor. Yeah, sharp stuff. Don't touch. <laughs> I think I just cranked one. So. You don't have to come all the way up. Isaac, do me a favor. Yeah. Go flip those tabs down. Just flip them over. If they don't go down, then just leave them alone. I've never been on a roof before. So we got Trevor up here. That is very dangerous. Isaac up here. You want me to go and get those over there? There's the front here. Yeah, just don't get down. Just leave them. Make dingle, make dingle. Okay, flip that one and then don't go any further over there. You see here where it broke? Yeah. So we're going to slide that right back in there. Slide that right back in there. Where it broke at. Oh, there's only one layer of shingles on there. Yeah. There's a new roof. Are we going to be able to see it through the ceiling bed? The nails? Oh. Why? The ceiling's freaking like that thing. <laughs> How thick is it? <laughs> it's like that thick. It's a quarter inch, you dingle. Yeah, you could fall right through these shingles. <laughs> I can't. Our next one goes right here. I can't live anymore. What is that? Is that a staple? Yeah, that's where the staples were that held the shingle in. 
But now we're using we're weaving this nails. Together. Weaving? Yeah, see it's uh we're missing three shingles. It don't it don't look like it when you first look up here. Yeah. It's kinda of, kinda of, hold this. There's different colors on the roof. Yeah. Shingles. Don't climb one of your power poles on it. Could you jump off of the off of this and live? All the time. Jump off the house? Yeah. He said. I'm not gonna jump off the house. I'm gonna use the ladder. No, but that's entirely. Isaac, you should jump off. He said that's what hurts her ankle. Yeah. Her knee. Yeah, she's. Yeah, me too. All the jumping off a of roof. <laughs> well, it doesn't surprise me. You gotta weave it back under that one. Yeah, see, this is not good. What? The fact that these shingles lift up like this. They should be nailed back down, shouldn't they? Or stapled. In your crotch area, <laughs> Zoom in on that. It'll feel better whenever it stops hurting. Yeah. It usually does. He's shaking the whole roof, Dad. For the hammer? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that fiber going on? Sit up. Take the. Hey, I don't want to be up here longer than I gotta be. I kind of like it. And for my next, for my next. Yeah, trip. remember my toe. <laughs> Stop. No, get him a hammer in the house. Okay? I am getting him hammer. I'm also getting your camouflage leg. <sighs> that if you fall back right now, you're going on the nail. Put it in there. that tab down let's go all right well we got the roof fixed Isaac and Trevor there I took a Mondo Duke it <laughs> got the roof fixed with me and they're a little excited they've never been up on the roof before so I'm gonna go and get me something to drink and we'll probably start editing this video so thanks for watching I appreciate you I'll see you tomorrow goodbye, goodbye.